What's going on guys? Today we're hopping on my boat, doing some deep dropping action, and looking for some shrimp boats to drift behind. In pursuit of the biggest, baddest shark we could find. Let's get it. So first, we're pulling up towards the jetties to try our luck with the deep drop rigs on top of an old military dump ground. So the ladyfish, this is a key bait when you're looking to target big sharks. They love the bloody, oily texture of this fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a downward cut about halfway through the ladyfish and check out that. I almost wanna leave a little bit of, of extra here to flop around, give it a real natural look in the water, but also release that scent. I'm gonna take this circle hook, hook it through the eye, and it goes through the hard part of the head. We have 200 pound monofilament, a size six ounce egg sinker to get that bait all the way to the bottom. And this is about 300 pound coated steel cable. So we're gonna drop these baits around 40 foot down, set the clickers, set the drags. We're hoping for something big, but let's see what we can find. All right guys, got our first hit on the deep drop. Time to see what this thing is. Woo, beautiful. Atlantic sharp nose. These guys got some strong little chompers, so when you're handling this shark, you wanna grab behind the head here, right behind the neck. At this point, squeeze real nice and tight. And then once you get that fish in control, hand here, hand here. And the safest move to do this is to get something to put your butt on, get some leverage, and squeeze tight with those legs as you remove this hook. The determining factor of this shark is it's pretty little white spots running all the way down the side. Absolutely gorgeous fish. We start to see these late July, early August. Just an awesome bycatch, man. Love seeing these guys. They're a fun fight. Let's go ahead and let her go. So it looks like nothing big is hanging around here. Let's pull up our anchor and head towards the shrimp boats to see if we can find some monster sharks. All right, guys, so we pulled up to our very first shrimp boat and everything looks primo. What's really awesome about fishing behind these shrimp boats is that when they're trolling, they're accumulating lots of bait in their nets, and those big sharks, they swim up behind looking for an easy meal. We have a 130-pound steel wire. We've got a size 12 aught circle hook, and we've got a big reel ready to cast in. When I use this wire leader, I try to get it at least four foot. When that shark is diving deep, we don't want his tail or his really rough skin to come back and hit our main line and cut it, so we use a long leader to prevent easy break-offs. And we are ready to cast this bait behind this shrimp boat and get hooked up. Game time, baby. So we're gonna let this fish take the bait. Looks like a solid run. Woo! Time to set the hook. Lock down drag, lift up. Yeah, baby! He's on! Oh, look at him jumping. Jump clean out the water. Huge fish. We got a monster. Woo! Look at this, he is just dumping my line on this reel. Best thing we can do in this situation, hold that rod tip up. If he gives us any slack, keep it really nice and tight here. Oh, nice. Absolutely beautiful black tip, maybe even five foot. This thing is an awesome fighter. We're gonna put a rope on this fish. We're gonna get it right around the head, boat it, and really try to calm this fish down so it doesn't thrash too hard. Now that we've boated this beautiful fish, it's really important that before we try to go and grab this thing, that we have her belly side down. This is gonna keep her a little bit calmer than if she was on her side or upside down. And now it's time to put our knees right here on our pectoral fins and apply pressure to the top of the head. This will really keep her docile when removing this hook. My knees go on the pectoral fins. I'm applying pressure straight down onto the fish. Now it's time to reach over here, grab your pliers and get this hook out all right, just like that, nice and smooth. You don't want to stick your fingers up in its gill plates or anything like that. You're going to take your hand, slide it, starting right at the top of the gills, not applying too much pressure on them. You're going to work your hands down to the jaw. You're going to squeeze as tight as you can on that jaw. And we're going to lift her straight up, just like that. We're all about catching and releasing out here, enjoying God's creation. And we are stoked to have the opportunity catch this beautiful five foot black tip. Let's go ahead and release her and get another one. It's a monster baby. Over the side. One, two, three. And there she goes. All right guys, we had a good fish pickup. Our float line right behind the nets on that shrimper up there. 
and we are waiting to set the hook on this fish. We really want to make sure it eats and swallows the bait. And it's fixing to be on like Donkey Kong, baby. Lock down the drag while he's running. And right when I feel the pressure of the fish dive, I'm going to set the hook. Yep, there he is. Oh, he's going to jump again. He's going to jump again. Oh, yes. Yes. Woo. All righty, guys. So this is a spinner shark. You've got to be really careful when you're boating these fish because as you can see, they get pretty wild. So we've got a rope right there around its jaw. We're going to very carefully boat this fish, put it right there and lock down. We're going to remove this hook. There she goes. Woo! So when you're fishing out here for these big sharks, you really want to know what species is what. As you can see, when I lift this shark up, its bottom anal fin right down there has black all around it. Because that bottom anal fin is black, that means this is a spinner. We're gonna go ahead and get this girl back in the water and go after another monster shark. Let's do it. This thing is screaming line, jumping hard. We're getting low. I'm gonna set the hook and hold on. Yep. Oh, big fish. We weren't getting much action on the regular float lines. I think our baits were sinking too fast. So we used the popping cork rig and just broke off the leader of the popping cork and put the actual cork on the line. Sometimes if there's not a lot of current, you have to improvise to keep that bait in the upper water column. Woo! Nice size fish. Another epic black tip shark, even bigger than the last. This one is over five foot for sure. I was stoked to get this fish on the boat. Woo! Time to let her go. Live another day. So sharks are one of the most misunderstood fish of the sea. These things got a lot of love. I know it sounds crazy. They really help to keep our ecosystem in check and they're a key factor in a healthy marine environment. They're some of my favorite species to go out there and target. They put up a killer fight. It always keeps you guessing. Tune in next week to the Monster Catch when we travel 150 miles offshore in pursuit of some monster pelagic fish.